All right, Chase Smith, John Sable here, Cavs on the Bay, George Young. Yeah, welcome to Cleveland. We're so excited to have you on the team, man. Yeah, no, I'm excited to be here. I'm really excited to be here. So, I think the best way to describe you as a person, from what I've heard, yeah, is loud, annoying, no, like you're you're, no. you're, a, you're a guy. I've heard this from um, my buddy Ken over there, who you were just with, <laughs> oh, yes. Ken Carmen. Uh, is that you're just one of the guys. You are a guy you want to watch a game with, with, with and yeah. drink a couple of beers and eat some wings. Is yeah. that not accurate? Yeah, especially the eating wings part. Yeah, I'll probably <laughs> eat all of them before you can even get one. Very good, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I think I am who I am, and I've accepted that. I'm not trying to be anyone I'm not, and, and sometimes that gets lost in professional sports, right? Mm -hmm. um, but I'm a bro, I guess. That's right. what they call it. And I like to have a good time. I like to show off my personality. I'm not afraid to make fun of myself and oh, hopefully make a ton of threes so the Cavs fans let's don't go. boo me. <laughs> no, what, let's go. what brought you here to Cleveland? What was the thing that attracted you to the most? And what did you know about the organization and what, what they were building here before you came here? Yeah, obviously early on in my career when I played for Indiana, I had to come in here and get swept uh, by the Cavs in 2016, <laughs> which is a great year for the Cavs. And yeah. I just remember looking up and seeing how loud – this arena would get and obviously you know the Cavs had their years of you know being down for a little bit and then you look at the last two years you know you couldn't come in here and just think you were going to sleepwalk to a win you look at the young talent with DG um, Evan yeah. and then obviously when you know when Donovan came along it was like wow they're you know they're really coming along um, and then I think over the summer just the combination of talking to Donovan uh, Kobe JB and the culture that they've kind of built here is something that I want to be a part of. You look at the trajectory of teams um, and the trajectory of this organization and team is is upwards and, yes. and for a long time. You have a ton of young talent and a ton of guys that you know are now getting playoff experience which actually you know matters in this league. So I'm super excited to be a part of this team, super excited to start building because you don't find too many great guys in, in one locker room, and I feel like we have that in this locker room. You know, I have to ask, uh, just with a personality like yours, yeah. uh, you are so good on the mic. Have you thought about life after basketball? <laughs> and this might are not you be getting, the... trying to get me to retire? No, <laughs> not at all. I'm just <laughs> trying to hire you. You're so natural <laughs> right. and comfortable. I, I have um, to think maybe... Yeah, I don't know, I mean, man. I've, I've thought about it. I like talking a lot, so maybe uh, <laughs> if I can get rid of my uhs and likes, I'll have, Save, a, bro. I'll have a career <laughs> in this. But at the same time... Um, I've done some work, you know, behind the camera and, okay. and tried it. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm going to save that for when I decide to, to call it quits or these knees don't have any more trips up and down the court. Right now, I'm more focused on behind the arc. Yes, exactly. That line isn't out there for decoration, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah. George, I got a couple questions for you. One, what did Donovan do for you in the offseason? He just was just talking. I asked him when he was at the podium how, how big of a impact he was for recruiting you and Max. But what did he do? What did he say to you? Um, I think the biggest thing for me is he was like, hey, you know, I'd love to have you here. Um, this is how we do things here. We're going to work. Um, you know, I think me and him have built up a great relationship before that where we were constantly in contact. Um, and he was like, what you bring is, is something that I think is valuable and we need here um, or could use here. Yeah. And, you know, the way he was describing the guys on the team when I asked questions about whether if it was DG or Evan or how's JB or how's Kobe, how's the organization? And he was basically like, hey, they're going to treat you uh, extremely well here. Um, this is a first class organization. Uh, the fans are just as passionate or more passionate than any fan base there is. Yeah. Um, he's like, they're going to let you know how they feel about you. You've played, you've played for some good fans, I was going to say, man, and me coming played. from Philly, I was yeah. like, I'd rather have someone tell me I'm sucking <laughs> and get out there <laughs> and try and be better than tell me I'm doing great and have me fall on my face. So um, he was uh, he was a spearhead in that. And then, you know, once free agency opened up and I got to talk to JB and Kobe, it was, yeah. it was a done deal. Great. Well, enjoy your time here. Yeah, man. I know you said uh, the wings part. There's a lot of good wings here in Cleveland. Yeah, there is. I might need to stay away from them to start the season, but yes, exactly. Yeah. There's, there's a good, good, good food scene here. That's for yeah, sure. Yes, All right. Well, thank is. you for your time. Good luck. Absolutely. We appreciate thank it. You guys. Take really care. Appreciate Have it. Fun. Yep. Absolutely.